This game is tea and is not suitable for kids. <laughs> Don't let your kids watch it! Ah, spoiler alert! Hey there, Artie! I'm gay. She comes back. Two hours later. She's dead. Mr. Edgeworth, I asked him about it! And did you find out how the device works? He used a rope to hang some weights on the well pulley. The weights were suspended inside the well. Then he ran the rope through two more pulleys and tied the end of the rope to his own body. So he uses the force of the falling weights to send himself flying. But what's to stop the weights from falling on their own? In order to prevent that from happening, he used a stopper. Miss Barry didn't know anything about the well. That means... Mr. Keyes removed the stopper by himself? Correct! That's why a second rope was needed. This rope was attached to the stopper, and when it was pulled from the stage... The stopper would be removed and the weights would drop down the well. That's a really clever device. That is a clever device. I do you think, go, Simon. I do think he just put the dead body on there and was like, Whoa! What? <laughs> That's your theory? I definitely think he did that. I'm definitely going to steal this idea. The Yadagarasu won't lose to something like this! Don't waste your time. Circus acts require extensive training. Even if you steal the device, it won't do you any good. Then I'll train as well! Before you start training, could you first update the recreation? Ah, yeah! You wanted me to recreate the device that was used in the performance. First, let's return to the during the show scene. Next, I'll input the information of the device and the well. Now we can recreate this device that Simon made. It's 8 a.m. Bum, 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 bum. So, this is the device that Mr. Keys used. Here's the thing, though. The lock was not broken there, but it's broken later. So hmm. maybe he, like, maybe he used the dead body instead and then was like, hmm, the bricks! <laughs> I'm like, so mad! Breaks the lock in the 15 minutes and then just drops him down the well. He's already in the well. But he's just Why would he like, break the lock then? So that we... I don't know. He was in a fit of rage. He was like, I can't believe my performance wasn't that good. <laughs> <laughs> Simon sure is gutsier than he looks. Using the falling weights as the force to launch himself during his performance. Indeed. He would have had to drop enough weights to exceed his own body weight in order to provide the strength needed to pull him off the stage. Is Simon Keys like fat or is he like... I think he's a pretty shrimpy guy. He's like... Your, your dude who's like 140 pounds. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Something like that. Something like that. Simon must have practiced a lot for this. Oh, wait, that's the wrong button. Lock it turned stick. pink. That happens. The steep and the missing apples. Oh, okay. Nope. The metal detector and the missing apples. <laughs> <laughs> They're metal apples. Ah, <laughs> uh, isn't this strange? What's wrong, pal? Haven't you noticed, Detective? What's strange about the weight is the weight, the number, the material. Yeah, the, the, the number? You need way more weight in order to throw them, right? What's strange is the number of weights. In other words, it's not heavy enough. He's like, I've got the best weight for my performance. It's a dead body. <laughs> <laughs> and he dropped out of the karaoke he's competition like, for like, that <laughs> song. <laughs> He's like, man, the bodyguard's gonna have a lot of muscle, he's gonna be so much weight. <laughs> he looks he looks pretty thin, but it's just like pure muscle. <laughs> Better than all the guards sound, sir. <laughs> we haven't met any of the guards yet. In order to pull up Mr. Key's body weight. You you're right, sir! But where did the rest of the weights disappear to? Looks like it's time to use my seven secret weapons, sir. Hmm. If necessary, I'll let the detective know. <laughs> the missing apples and the metal detector. <laughs> the elephant's not heavy enough. We'll find the ones that people put the razor blades in for Halloween. Because apparently that happens all. I forgot about that. Who would do that? There's the sick world through the sick people. Yeah. Detective Gumshoe, it's time for your secret weapon. Yes, sir! I was hoping for the metal detector. 
I don't get many chances to use this one. Before we begin the search, let me go over how to use the metal detector, sir. No. This metal detector uses sound. Oh, look at the dog. It's so cute. And this meter. To let you know how close you are to a metal object. When you get closer to a metal object, the metal detector will have a bigger reaction, like this. When you get to the biggest reaction... Give me the order to examine the spot, sir. Now let's see what we've got. Oh, it's just the metal fence. And that's basically how you search for metal objects. Just give me the instructions on where you want to search, sir. It's Gumshoe, Ace Attorney. <laughs> we get to move him around. <laughs> here, sir. It looks like there's something here. Oh! It's a gold coin, sir! It's a historical discovery! It's hardly possible that something like this could find its way into a prison. Oh, it's a guard! Uh, do you want to do the voice? Uh, sure. Yeah. I have to think, though. That's fine. For a moment. I mean, I didn't think we'd find a guard. <laughs> it's only a prison. There it is! That's where it was buried! <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> That's a point for the bi-weekly coin hunting competition! <laughs> There's an event like that? That sure sounds like fun, pal. It's an event where the warden buries some coins and the prisoners search for them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that event, oh, man. Why does it sound like a pretty fish character? <laughs> there are three silver coins and one gold coin. Whoever finds them can trade them in for snacks. <laughs> Double shower tokens and, and a snack. snack. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Coin hunting competition and an animal show. Just what kind of prison is this anyway? Oh, he's gone. Let's continue the search, sir. <laughs> it's a gold coin. Oh, apparently the basketball hoop is not made of metal. No, it's not. It's made did out of missile, plastic. Did missile eat anything metal? Got any earrings? Derp -a -derp -a. Yeah! There's a reaction here too, sir! Let's check it out! Huh? I found these in the clumps of grass here, sir! Nobody found them?! These are the weights used for that hoisting device. Were these intentionally hidden? There's four of them in all, sir! That many weights would be enough to lift Simon! Yeah, 33 times 4. <laughs> Well, he is a shrimpy guy then. <laughs> yeah. Wait, well, what is 33 times 4? Well, 30 times 4 is 120, so it would be 132 pounds. That guy is a shrimp. Yeesh. I mean, this is, does take place in America, and people in America tend to be smaller than people in America. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, he's less than 132 pounds. I want the gold coins! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's me. I, f I don't that's know why I was. Sorry, I was very deep in thought, thinking about the, how weird that guard's voice was. <laughs> so, the other weights that were used in the device were hidden. Why were they hidden over there, though? See? I'm really earning my keep today, aren't I, sir? Yeah! Ah, the alligator! Th that scared me, pal! Huh? What's the matter, detective? It looks like the metal detector is reacting to this alligator. Really? Why? Are you sure it isn't still just reacting to the weights? It's a different reaction, sir. And it's definitely coming from the alligator. He ate a clock. <laughs> totally. It's gone. <laughs> what was that? That was <laughs> 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 it looks like it's scared of us. Hmm... I don't think so, Kay. Huh? If anything, I think Allie looks a little under the weather. Allie? I suppose that was what Warden Roland called it. She didn't eat any of the food that the Warden gave her yesterday. I think she might have eaten something bad. 
So I guess the metal detector could be reacting to whatever this alligator ate. The alligator ate 50 dozen apples. <laughs> that are metal. <laughs> that are metal. <laughs> she just, no, the alligator just ate like 50 of those like apple puzzles. <laughs> the 3D apple puzzles. <laughs> those are plastic. But they have the little metal piece They have the little metal piece in there. Oh, maybe she ate one of the weights. I doubt that even an alligator can ingest a 33 pound weight. But what could the metal detector be reacting to? And regardless, why were these weights hidden? Hmm, maybe we should take another look at the device on the well. Kay, I'd like you to recreate the after the show scene again. All right, leave it to me. I'll leave it to Beaver. Let's go. <laughs> Ray's gone. Yeah. Talk to the yeah, apples. apples. Talk to me, apples. I won't rest until I've inspected every suspicious looking nook and cranny. Let's inspect the. 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 yeah, sure. Is this spot somehow connected to the evidence? I just. I just don't know. Wait, did we get the. Uh, wait, as evidence? <laughs> no. Oh. Maybe it's that. Eureka! This piece of evidence shows the contradiction with the crime scene. Could you be more precise about where the contradiction is? I'd also like to hear you explain it in more detail, sir. Um, around here somewhere. Oh, what, what does this actually say? It, it's a big stunt. Uses three pulleys, two ropes, and the well, and some weights. Okay. We around here somewhere. Yet. Please be more specific, sir. Um, hmm, yeah, severely, this device... It could just be me, but it feels like something is missing. The... the lock? The fact that we don't have a lock? It uses two ropes, but there's only one. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> this recreation and the device we saw earlier, there is a major discrepancy. <laughs> major discrepancy? <laughs> one of the ropes is missing. You're right! Without it, the device won't work. I wonder what happened to it. Where did the missing rope disappear to? It's possible that we hold the piece of evidence that shows where the rope went. Huh? Which piece of evidence shows where the missing rope went? Um, the rope. <laughs> <laughs> Why would it, we have to do that? The rope we found with the dead body. Also, that looks like a lo mein noodle. <laughs> what? We, uh, we just had Chinese Chow, chow lo mein? <laughs> we just had Chinese food the other day. It was Oh wait, there's chow mein and lo mein. I should combine them. Chow, chow lo mein. mein. Chow mein is the crispy noodles, and lo mein soft noodles. And then high mein. High mein? Nah, oh. I, I thought that was going somewhere else. Ah, could it be? Yes, it could be the other piece of rope that was used here. Then, does that mean... This rope was attached to the weight. However, the weight was not one of these metal weights. These weights were hidden in the grass and replaced with something else. If they were replaced, then what was used as the weight? What was tied to the rope we found in the workroom? If we can recall that, then the answer should be clear. I don't clear. know! I haven't been to the workroom in, like, forever! The weight that was dropped in place of the weights that Mr. Keys had prepared was this. Was it the... da... da... yes. Da... da... yes! I was right! What dropped down the well was none other than Knightley's dead body. Knightley's body was used as the weight! He's definitely bigger than Simon is, so... Yes, the weights were replaced with Knightley's body. Mr. Keyes used the device to launch himself off of the stage. When the rope that was tied to him was undone and let go, both the body and the rope dropped down the well. The rope wasn't used to tie up Knightley. It was used to suspend him inside the Man, well. We def this is definitely suspicious of Simon. Yeah. Geez. This also explains why the other weights were hidden. Ah, so that the no one would find out the weights were replaced with the body. Yes, the killer was the one who hid those weights. But Miles, wasn't Nightly Boy stabbed in the neck with the murder weapon? If he was suspended in the well, wouldn't there be blood at the bottom of the well? The killer was also aware of that. That's why they used this item. Which item did the killer use in order to leave no traces of blood behind? 
It's a uh, bloodstained sheet. The sheet we found near the body. It was used to wrap up the body. I see. It looks like all the pieces are starting to come together, eh? But that means that the body definitely came from the well. If that's the case, wouldn't that mean Simon's the killer? No, that's not necessarily the case. Ah, but yesterday Judge Courtney said... I don't give a bleep what she said. <laughs> <laughs> if Mr. Keyes was the killer, would he have needed to set up such an elaborate device? I guess you have a point. Mr. Keyes was only responsible for dropping the body during the show. In other words, it doesn't matter where the real killer was or what they were doing during the show. Until now, this placed the doubt on the people who did not watch the animal show. It, it's true. We also suspected Mr. Dogen. The killer's true intent was to make us think that the murder occurred during the show. In other words, they used the device on the well to create a fake alibi. That's really... wow. Miss Barry, do you know when this device on the well was set up? Um, let me think. The day before the show? I think it was at night. We all started preparing at 9pm. We finished it around midnight. The killer replaced the weights with the dead body afterwards. Simon's device data updated. Did Dogen know about the device? No, even if he knew about the device, it wouldn't be possible for him to use it. You can't teach a dog to suspend a body in a well. In other words, Dogen is not the killer. I don't even know at this point. A steak plus missing, el uh, missing, missing elephants. The missing elephants. A steak and the missing elephants. I think it's the apples. And what? Oof, I was Edgeworth right. Is not on a roll today. Forty, if you just listen to me, maybe. This might be wrong too. Oh, we may not have everything we need. Nope, that was right. Yeah. We could have done that ages ago. Whoops. Um, the apples in the crate were probably eaten by a steak. We had to figure that out! Yes! <laughs> oh, I thought that was just But it's assume. strange. I remember leaving the crate out of reach for Mystique's nose. Are you certain? Yes. The crate was still full of apples on the night before the show. Then the cart was moved to where her nose could reach it. With that many apples, it could not have been moved by the wind. Most likely, the crate was moved by a person. What's behind the crate? Maybe it's like, oh man. The basketballs. Oh man, I need that basketball. <laughs> I need to practice, bro! <laughs> basketball boys here in this prison. Actually, Frank saw it as training to be a basketball player. <laughs> Prior to the show, the cart's position was already changed and the apples were all eaten. This appears to be the correct information. Please update the simulation parameters, Kay. You got it! Alright, I'll use the new info to create the scene. First, let's return to the during the show scene. Whoa, it's like a Blackberry phone. <laughs> Using the info we got from Regina, I'll re recreate the scene with the cart in its actual place. Recreation complete. So they wanted to get to the door. This door is locked. Want me to pick the lock? Success is not guaranteed, though. I think we've had this dialogue before. Sheesh, I thought it was new. No, I also, I mean, I can't, I can't skip it though, so well, that's the weird one. <laughs> There's only two pieces of logic left. Thus, logically, they must logically fit together. They didn't fit together earlier. That was a new thing. Oh, I was like, Barely. I was like, already that didn't fit before. This cart was moved the night before the show. The body was also switched the night before the show. I don't think it was just a coincidence. Keeping that in mind, the question now becomes, why was this cart moved? The cart used to be in front of the door. I can think of one reason why. Somebody opened that door. Somebody didn't want somebody to see a picture of somebody. Thanks, Velma. Alright, let's hurry up and... The door's locked. Let's ask a guard! Hey, Mr. Guard! You get this one. But yes, what is it? <laughs> that was fast and creepy. <laughs> you there? Where's the key to this door? The warden's in charge of it. I'll get it from her right away. <laughs> <laughs> Is he just constantly spinning? <laughs> so then he's like... <laughs> the 
warden is in charge of the keys here. Without the warden's permission, this door can't be opened. Thank you very much! That's the fuse box. Ooh, high voltage edge electricity! It's a circuit breaker panel. This must be the breaker room. On the night before the show, someone came into this room. I wonder why they would come here. So you could turn off all the sensors so they could just walk through the prison? I don't think anyone would confuse the breaker room with the break room. It was definitely to operate the circuit breakers. At least they're labeled so cleanly. Um, so somebody came in here to shut the power off or something. You have to label those. Yeah, but not, uh, yeah. Some of them, at least. I've had plenty of times where it's like, this light switch is not labeled, this like... Oh, light switch. I'm talking circuit breakers. Circuit breakers, yeah, those probably need to be labeled. Mm -hmm. I read that. Was there anything that had its power shut off? What could have had its power shut off by the breaker? Well, the security camera the footage. The security footage. The security camera footage had a three hour gap. Ah, I see. The circuit breaker for the security camera was tripped. It's highly possible. Was this the killer's handiwork? With the camera down, it'd be easier to move about. The killer would have had a major advantage. I knew it. If that's the case, the killer was the person who tripped the breaker. The person in charge of the key to the breaker room is... It couldn't be. Circuit breaker data jotted down. Deactivating the recreation. Oh, we need some HP back. <laughs> Edgeworth slapped himself a lot. And then he, like, unslapped himself. Yeah. Uh, or no, wait, he ate would... a piece of cake. To <laughs> no, wait, what, how, what would Edgeworth... It would be tea, right? Oh, tea. Edgeworth's just like, Gumshoe, go to the vending machine and get me my green tea. Edgeworth don't drink no tea from a vending machine. He's a very upstanding, upstanding kind of guy. guy. Well, you can't get that in the prison. <laughs> you can't just be like, guard, go brew some tea. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Oh, you too. Oh, boy. British hour. I'm first to the scene, as always. Good morning, Mr. DeBest. What? You? How did you get here before me? Greetings, Prosecutor Edgeworth. I see you have arrived early. Or maybe it is you who are late, Judge Courtney. Mm, I have many matters which require my attention. I have no time to waste. I had to get Sebastian dressed. <laughs> I had to get him dressed. I had to do my hair in two different braids surrounding my head. That takes quite a while. I had to have the full brekkie. <laughs> the full brekkie, yes. Also, this outfit would take like 20 minutes to put on. Because it's so many layers. And I forgot my gavel on the way And over. then I needed to put on lipstick because I apparently don't leave the house without it. <laughs> Unlike a certain prosecutor who has taken off the case and doesn't wear lipstick every day. That's good. <laughs> I'm not a member of KISS. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my apologies. I had forgotten that you were assisting the defense attorney. An assistant can never be the best. You've fallen like the rest. You just say whatever you like, don't you? Let us begin our examination of the courtyard, Sebastian. All right, I'll call the men over. That will be unnecessary. What?! <laughs> We have already finished the investigation of the courtyard. You've been bested. Bested? Me? Nice. Judge Courtney? Your reasoning from yesterday? Watch me shatter it to pieces. I would advise you to choose your words more carefully. I chose them very carefully. Have you forgotten that the fate of your badge rests in my hands? And then Edgeworth never worked another case after this. <laughs> <laughs> I have had enough of such coercion. Can't you think of some other way to threaten me that does not involve my badge? Despite my repeated warnings, you show no signs of reflection. It seems I must remind you once more. The Prosecutorial Investigation Committee can't leave someone such as yourself unchecked. Neither the fate of my badge nor the actions of the committee will impede my progress. Proving Mr. Key's innocence, that is all that concerns me. 
Your fake British accent is garbage. <laughs> Your words are like those of a defense attorney. If you are willing to go that far, then I will show no leniency. In the name of the goddess of law, I shall turn your words against you. And at that moment, you will forfeit the title of prosecutor. You shall regret this. Oh, will we? Let's hear your reasoning, Judge Courtney. I shared my reasoning with you the day before. Since Mr. Elbert did not see the body when he passed through the tunnel, it could only have been dropped down the well during the show. The only one who could have performed such an act is the suspect. Naturally, you have evidence to support your reasoning. Of course she does! Who do you think she is? Earlier, I received the official autopsy report. Babysitting that kid must be difficult. The time of death was the night before the body was discovered. In other words, the day before the show. The cause of death remains unchanged, a stab wound four inches deep. Autopsy report updated! Yeah! Everyone loves hearing those words. <laughs> Simon Keyes was not pre present. Was not presented. He was not a present. He was not a present. He was not present on the stage for a period of 15 minutes. He had to eat brekkie too. Come on. In the middle of a show. <laughs> brekkie, brekkie time. Brekkie's such a funny word. That's a great. That's <laughs> it's a great. British. Oh, it's so weird. No. 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 You're great. No. There was sufficient time for him to drop the body down the well. Actually, brekkie might be more of an Australian term. Brekkie. Oh, I want eggies for my brekkie. <laughs> <laughs> She has not investigated we, the courtyard we, yet. Uh, I feel like we insult accidentally so many people when we play these. Wait till you get to the next case. It's just like, rights for people, and they're like, this is stupid. <laughs> Votes for women. No. Step in time. Votes for women. Step in time. Never need a reason. Never, never need, need a rhyme. rhyme. She's not investigated the courtyard yet. That means step in time. <laughs> hmm. It seems there is a hole in your argument. A hole as big as the hole in my bed sheets right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, so fun fact. Um, so we're recording this during the COVID-19 quarantine. <laughs> I hope that it's over by the time this goes if up. It's, if it's not over by then, I will have changed my major probably and be like, I'm <laughs> it's, gonna... If, okay, if, it's, if, if we're not out of quarantine by then, it's literally gonna be like the apocalypse. But <laughs> anyhow, so I'm doing that. As soon as quarantine started and like the non-essential stores closed, I got a hole in my sheets. So I couldn't really buy new bed sheets because those are non-essential. And every night I see it gets a little bigger. And now it's like half my bed. Half of his bed. He's like, I kind of need some new sheets. I'm like, Artie, you could just I order them, them on Amazon. Like, I, my, Our mom recommended a good one. Our mom's pretty great. <laughs> you seem quite confident. Can you present evidence to support your claim? Of course I can. And I will. Well, we will next time. Yeah, Mace Attorney Investigations 2. Minutes. I'll split I this into two episodes. my reasoning. Oh, yes. Ho, hum, cheerios, uh -huh. crumpets. <laughs> Anyhow, thanks for watching, everybody. If you're British and you're watching this, thank you. And sorry if we were sorry offensive. Sorry if we're kind of... I mean, we're American. We used to be of the Brits. With the I Brits. have never been British. No, but I'm saying, like, Amer Mo America, people went on the Mayflower across. And there's been a lot of immigrants from there's all sorts of countries all across the world. There's been a lot of immigrants, but you know what? We all kind of came from Europe. Yeah, we're a melting pot, which is we're, cool. We are kind and of. And we do have British ancestry. We I do. am not British, though. We do. And have by the way, ancestry. I don't. I don't, this might sound. This might sound bad or something, but I don't have a problem like kind of poking fun at other countries. Just similarly, I don't have a problem with people from other countries oh poking gosh. fun at America. It's hilarious. It's when hilarious make fun when of America. It is so because funny. Because there's a lot of things that people can make fun of from America. <laughs> yeah, like if I see people like, oh yeah, Americans, they just eat hamburgers and put ketchup and all their food. Think? I'm like, that's hilarious. Like, that's funny. <laughs> Anyhow, until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless. Don't forget to eat brekkie. It's the most important meal Don't of the day. Don't forget to go to ballet lessons and do the cheddar cheese cap thing. Chipping cheddar. Chipping cheddar. 